everybody, welcome back. David Yon and the stunning Miss Lady Pop Hunter. Always bubbly and happy. She <laughs> is actually. She is actually most of the time. This is us all day. But back again with another weekly roundup, taking a look at some of what is coming to the adult collector's market here soon. And today we are going to be in... Where are we going? Macon. We're going to be really busy. Macon. We're going to be all yeah, over the place. Busy. Today, so while you're watching this, we're actually going to be out and about. We're going to be in middle, the Middle Georgia Comic Convention, January 15th. Saturday, January 15th. It's yeah. going to be running from 10 to 4. We probably won't be the whole time. No. Cause and that's in Macon, Georgia. Most of the time, a comic show, an hour or two is good enough. Yeah. At $5 admission, you know, you see the thing there. Comics, toys, and collectibles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll see. Mostly comics. Most We've never comics. been to this one before. Oh, yeah. So we usually go to the Atlanta one. Yeah. And that's, that's right. coming up on January 30th. Th yes, that's right. The so we'll be there. But this one, we've never been. And we just want to go check it out. Check it out. Of course, do some film. Yeah. And um, so we'll be bringing it to you if you can't make it. Yeah. And you never know. You might see something, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and it maybe cool. you can, if you're going out there, you can say hi. Yeah, give us a wave, say hey. And also, we should be at the Atlanta Model Train Show. Yeah, that's in Duluth. Um, and that's from what time? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, well, I know they shut <laughs> down at like 5 in the afternoon. Yeah. I think it's from like 10 to 5. Okay. We're going to go to the Macon. Um, Infinite Energy Center. Yeah, but we're going to go to the comic show first because if there is anything out there, we want to be able to get it. At the train show, it's just a setup and nothing's going to change. So uh -huh. we'll go to the train show second. Look at that, 500 exhibitors. Yeah, and we that like trains, sure. model trains. They're cool. They're very nostalgic. And um, I, those, I enjoy it. It's one of those fading hobbies. Yeah, and have. I've never been to a model train show, so I'm really excited about this one. Okay. Yeah, and it's, I think, five, five, ten dollars or something <laughs> to get in. I had the uh -huh. uh, thing, but I don't, it's not on there. It's not but on there. But it's just like five dollars to get in or something weird like that. Okay. And you know, I'll actually, I'll try even to, uh, you, you might see this come up Friday night, uh, so just mm. in case anybody doesn't know about those shows and they want to check it out. Yeah. If you're in, if you're in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll start with Bandai, Bandai Spirits, and there is Naruto. And this is the $35 version. This is the one that you go and you see at Target and Walmart. Mm. So Naruto, and of course these are roughly 12th scale and also from Naruto is uh, Sakura, and that's one of her face plates. Again, Bandai has this problem where they put out the images and they just put out some scattered images, and they don't show you everything that it comes with, which I think doesn't benefit them. Mm -hmm. I like it when you have a picture that shows everything they come with all in one shot. So, you know, it, it is helpful. She's 55. Hmm. She's more. Well, she's taller than Naruto. Oh, okay. And then. Suzuki and Suzuki is 50 bucks so I guess he's even taller I don't know I, I never really got into Naruto <laughs> so I don't know a whole heck of a lot about it also from Bandai and this is the tech on and that is an Avengers version Captain America tech suit hundred and thirty five dollars did he have a tech suit in the show I don't know it could be something from the comic books uh, this is die cast mm -hmm. which is unique for Bandai so you know to try to justify that hundred thirty five dollar price tag yes this is a die cast piece what's all that on him it looks like he's getting shot or something uh, he's got some extra armor pieces it's interesting looking it, it's it, extra ex you can accessorize them, and I think the pieces are also compatible with an Iron Man that they had done. Mm. So you can swap them around. Beast Kingdom, doing the Powerpuff Girls. Mm. And it says for their their 8-inch uh, series, but by 8-inch they mean just over 4 inches. <laughs> but Why? of course the Powerpuff Girls are short. Mm. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But there's your Blossom. These are $40 a piece. Mm. There's only so much articulation you can actually give it because they're shaped like dolls. They have essentially doll bodies. Bubbles. 
The show is actually pretty funny. You said so. Yeah, I saw the movie too. The movie was good. Mm. And Buttercup, forty bucks a piece. Or you can get all three of them in a like a promo pack. Comes with the stand for one hundred and twenty. Oh, okay. It's the same price as if you bought all three of them separately, but you get the stand. So if you want to do a diorama with them, you know, if you're going to buy all three of them anyways, you may as well get the free stand, I guess. Yes. And, of course, their arch nemesis, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo, who is five and a half inches, is 90 bucks. So big price jump for Mojo Jojo. He's a cool villain, though. He's funny. <laughs> XO6, continuing on with their Star Trek The Next Generation figures, the original Q. Well, you can get on that. You one like those. Yeah, 112, I mean, not 112, 116 scale Q there in his Judge robes, 205, 205. It's interesting. I mean, it's something that people had wanted to see for a while was uh, Q in 6 scale. Mm. Well, of course, you know, I was getting them from, uh, not from XL6, but from QMX, mm -hmm. and then they canceled it. They canceled the series, but I was getting the original Star Trek figures. Oh, so you don't want six that. scale. It'd be nice to have, but, you know, I'm not going to, you know, for $205, I'm not going to go rushing after it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is from a company I haven't shown before, and that's Fire Phoenix. Fire Phoenix makes one-sixth scale. And these are just knights, is what it is, and it is metal. The the metallic pieces are actually metal, and that's the arrogant knight. Do they have the black knight? Uh, I don't think so. But they get the arrogant knight. The arrogant knight is two hundred and fifty bucks. Mm. They made also the fearless knight, fearless knight, and I believe there was one more. And that is the Rage Knight. Rage Knight. And they're all $250 a piece. Four Horsemen wow. has a big drop because they, they always drop like a bunch of stuff at once. I don't know how anybody keeps up with it. Mm. This is from their, oh, what is that series called? Mythic Legions? No, not Mythic Legions. Well, yeah, it is Mythic Legions. But there's a, a specific name that I was looking for. Poxus series. Mm. This is their Poxus series. And there's, like I said, a lot of drops from here. And this is Aracargor. Or, or Aracagor, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a 9-inch figure. Remember, these are 12 scale. Mm -hmm. He's 75. I thought their figures were bigger than that. I thought they were like no, they're one they're six like, or... No, they're 12 scale. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And that's his accessories. And I'll show you the accessories where I can. Mm -hmm. Azah wow. Azahazar, which is another big figure. 75 for Azahazar. And there's his accessories. Basically, it's a hand change. And a little couple of flame things. They have a deluxe hands bundle for 22 Deluxe hands? Yeah, extra hands. $22. Evil Magic Accessory Pack for $25. There's little effects there. Stuff that you'll easily break. Yeah. <laughs> Heroic yeah. Magic Accessory Pack, $25. Kalizer. Kalizer is $65. The prices are all over the place. And then here's his accessories. Hey, well, he's a genie? I guess so. A gin. Flojis. The horse, 75. It's fully jointed. Yeah, you, you can, can see, see the joints, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a zombie horse. Arazak for 50. That looks like a Dungeons and Dragons character, actually. And there's his accessories. Samir Scroll Water for 50. <laughs> <laughs> they get deep in it. And there's his accessories. I like how he has the, the book there. It looks like it's something for role playing. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. And that's a Poxis Deluxe. He does look kind of like an insect. Yeah, with the little wings. Yeah, Poxis Deluxe is $60. And there's his accessories. A lot of pieces there. Mm -hmm. He's got little insect wings on his bow. Tharnog for 65 He got like moose antlers. Yeah, he's got a... A lot going what? on there. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going on there. And I was fascinated by the Four Horsemen series, but I never got into it. You know, I don't own any. Mm -hmm. They do look good. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen a few people on YouTube that had some, and they look good. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a lot. Maybe about yeah. two, three people that actually got some and got it on display. Wraith Haler for 50 And her pieces. Oh, it says head stands for photo only and not included. Oh, you're on your own for the heads. That sucks. Yeah, it kind of does actually. <laughs> yeah, because it looks cool and you're like, oh on man, display. I'm gonna get a head stand. Another no. another weapons pack here for thirty dollars. And then Zende Amanther. That's a big line. Yeah. Because all of those go together. It is. That's what I mean. It's like when they do a drop, they drop like 15 figures at a time. They drop the whole thing. And his piece is there. Yeah. They don't give you a chance. It's like, hey, you pre-order all that. But if you really want to, I guess you'll figure it out. Yeah. Really. <laughs> and, hey, money's tight. And that'll do it for that. But we got to look at Funko, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, Funko has a Funko. lot a lot to show oh, this week because yeah. they're getting ready for Valentine's Day early. We'll start off it with the... early. It's like mid... It's mid-January. So <coughs> Valentine's a month away. Yeah, that's too close. Anyways, <laughs> I know they were putting it up uh, before Christmas decorations were even down in the stores. So what are you going to do? But we got a box lunch exclusive uh, princess collection. And of course, that's Little Mermaid. When he turned into stone in the movie? I don't even remember the movie that well, to be honest. I've seen it once. I, I don't remember it that well. That For some reason, that one wasn't memorable. It, it didn't stick. Like yeah. um, Beauty and the Beast and Lion King. Yeah. You know, that one was like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I saw it in the theater. Why? Or girlfriend wanted to see it when it first came out. Ooh. I was like, okay, we'll go Who's see Beauty? Little Freaking Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And we're going to get into the Valentine's stuff right away. It says Villainous Valentine. And Is I'll that give them. Mystery minis? Yeah, these are mystery oh, minis. Okay. These are mystery minis. And I'll give them credit. Yeah. I see what they're trying to do here. You remember those old, like, in the 60s and 70s and even the 80s, they had, like, these generic Valentine's Day cards and stuff? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what these images look like to me. So I see where they're going with this. See, there's a box oh, of cards. Yeah. yeah, you used to pass them out in school. Yes, it was the generic ones, mm -hmm. the, you know, the non-character uh, Valentine's cards, and that's what they're trying to imitate here. So I get it, but that, yeah, that's their box of Valentine's cards. Here's their pops. Those are cute. Yeah, except of course they got like dynamite and grenades and stuff, and a, 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 an RPG there. So what if you sent that to like? somebody like a girlfriend or something the cards what are they gonna think i don't know if they're into nostalgia they might get it mm -mm. they're gonna be like mm -mm, you trying too much some bags <laughs> mm, more of this stuff see the lounge fly collection they're still mm. doing that does that stuff sell well some pins. i don't know mini backpack coin bag Ugh. i don't know can you put your change in some no, plushies. plushies. Yeah. Not a fan of their plushies. I'm not a fan of plushies, period. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, Star Wars, you, you, you repaint them pink, Valentine's Day. It could be um, Susie Coleman, breast cancer. Oh, yeah. You know, breast cancer is pink. Yeah, they just take the little heart away, the little I love you there. Mm -hmm. You see Target and Funko Shop, and then here's your regular ones. Oh my goodness. Did it all? <laughs> yeah, they did a bunch of them. Just God repainted me. them and put a little uh, 
a little box of candy with them or whatever. Yo mm -mm. Uh, baby not Yoda eating a candy heart instead of a frog. This is a Walmart exclusive and it's four pops in a tin shaped like a heart. I think it's a tin. It might be cardboard. It ain't tin. I'm just saying not at it looks like a tin, acts like a tin, but it's a duck. I don't know. I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Keychains, Walmart exclusive. More of these things, these oh, popsies. That's that pop -up yeah, things. the popsies where you you press them, you press the button, and the little fake uh, word bubble pops out. Like that yeah. looks like Rust Berry stuff from the seventies. Mickey and Minnie, of course. Mm. From my heart to yours, you're my one and only. <laughs> you're an enchanted beauty you know he didn't stay a beast guys I don't know everybody always makes the beast they don't make him when he transformed back yeah cause nobody care about that he was only a dude for like a minute <laughs> I guess <laughs> plushies Ugh. Ooh, they look chunky they don't have any legs they're no. like weebles mm -hmm. Uh, keychains or zip tabs or whatever they are. You attach them to zippers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're plush. Mm, then they get all dirty. Do oh, it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah, do it yourself on painted. That's a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, all of these are. Everything is at Walmart. Yeah, everything's going to Walmart. Mm, uh, the Office that. Valentine's Day four pack. Mm. I wonder Zip. how much that's going to cost. I don't know. And Mystery Minis. Of the the office. office Valentine's Day. Mm. So lame. Lameness. Okay. Just my opinion. But that'll do it for Funko. Okay. And real quick from Hasbro here. In their Nerf division, one to one scale, <coughs> EE3 carbine, carbine blaster. In from, a Nerf gun. In a Nerf gun form, yes, it shoots Nerf darts. $110. One hundred and ten dollars, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll get out of Hasbro yeah. and take a look at Kyoto, which I haven't looked at anything from Kyoto in quite a while. And this is Superman from the New Fifty Two. He looks His knee things kind of pop out there. Yeah, but he's uh, he looks metallic. He is not. That's just the paint scheme. He is all PVC, and mixed media though, because the cape has wires. But they're just showing you how posable this is. 12 scale for $110. Mm. And there's all of the accessories. All of Why these does pieces. all his joints kind of pop out? See uh, he's supposed knees? to be, yeah, I know. He's supposed to be ultra posable. And I, I you know. So that means things just pop out? I guess. <laughs> I didn't design it. Mm. <laughs> if I was designing it, it would be much different. I hope so. Yeah. Ooh. Mafex? Secret Wars version Spider-Man. Oh, you heard about that um, Spider-Man comic book page that sold for like three million dollars? Just yeah, the one I heard. page. I What's heard. on that page? The very first Spider-Man in black suit. The first time he was ever seen in a black suit. Oh my god! I need some. I remember. And, you know that kills me because I remember being back in, and I had a Don't lot of. Say you had that. I had. Comic I didn't book. have that, oh, okay. but I had a lot of comic art. Mm -hmm. Those art panels, because you go to the uh, comic shows, they practically gave them away. They used to have cases full of them. They couldn't. They couldn't give them away for ten bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had and a like, bunch of those. Who would buy just the one sheet? Why anime? not sell the whole book for three million dollars? Because that's the original art panel. Oh, that wasn't... That the, was the original artwork from, oh, from that oh, page. Oh, well, yeah, it just said page. Yeah. It did say page. So, it, it, you know, it's like, oh. like this big, mm -mm -mm. and it's the original hand-drawn work from the artist. But, um, yeah, I remember when, the, like I said, you couldn't give them away. The animation cells, too, they'd sell them like four for ten bucks. Wow. Animation cells, they couldn't get rid of them. People, the, the, they used to have cases and cases of them at shows. Now you can't even find that stuff at a show. Hmm. But yeah, Mafex Secret Wars Edition Spider Man 105. Yeah. Yeah, rough. Peter Parker. Well, he hadn't had a bath in a while. Mm, that's <laughs> like it. And his accessories. 
And then McFarlane, mm. more DC Multiverse and Batman. $20 range, find it anywhere. Walmart and Target. And GameStop and mm -hmm. Clayface. There's a big figure. $42. I hope it is. I hope it's gigantic. I'm not sure exactly how big it is. It says 7 inch scale, and I'm like, that is not 7 inches. <laughs> Can't be. Robin, and that's the Damian Wayne Robin. And then the Superman versus Armored Batman 2 pack. Mm. 42. And that'll do it for McFarlane. We can jump over to Mega House. And Mega House, which usually makes like vinyl statues. Mm -hmm. So I don't really bother with it. But they've got a 112th scale, fully articulated, one piece action figure. Oh, okay. And it's 109. I just wanted to show it because it's something different. And of course, that's Luffy, if I remember correctly. Luffy Taro, right? Somebody mm -hmm. tell me in the comment section if I'm right. Mm -hmm. And then Mego, and this is where it's going to get interesting. Because Mego has a lot to show this week. And some of this stuff is already turned up early in Walmarts. Oh, wow. And these are, they got six boxed versions of 8-inch figures. So they've redone six of their figures, and they put them in box styles, which, of course, is nostalgic for the company because they had it either carded or boxed. So now they're presenting them box. These are only going to be found at Walmart. They're not going back to those 14-inch figures like they started? Do you remember when, yeah. when they came back out? I, I remember. They were, you got a bunch. Yeah, I got some, but they, they still do that off and on. And here's a quick look at some of them, except for the uh, Mutant Toxic, Toxic, Toxic Avenger. Avenger. I don't have a, a larger picture of the Mutant. Mm. There's the Reptile from uh, Hammer Classics, Reptile Woman, Invisible Man... Slim from Killer Clowns. <laughs> I think we saw Killer Clowns. That movie's funny. A grayscale version of Creature from the Black Lagoon, or a silver screen version, which is probably, I th still, I think, the one of the best figures they put out. Yeah, that Carter figure is pretty nice. And the Nun. Which, where did that come from? The Nun. But it's all what's, what's, like new stuff. What's interesting about the Nun is that... Uh, it's not two figures. The head swivels. Oh, okay. So you take the habit, the habit off and you turn the head mm -hmm. and you put the habit back on and it's the other face. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that's how that works. And then they have some two packs and I think this is particularly interesting also. You see it's a two pack like you see the Chucky there. Chucky 1 and 2. And it's a Monsters 2 pack and in the lower left hand corner that is a real coin. It's basically just a brass coin that says Mego on it. Mm -hmm. But it's just cute that they threw a coin in there. Although um, people are already whining about it because they were like, "Why could you couldn't stamp an image on the coin? Because they're thinking like Kenner Power of the Force and every coin was unique to the figure and had a picture of, the, of that character mm -hmm. embossed on the coin. Mego didn't bother. They just put a generic coin in every package. So people are crying about it, but mm, you know, people are going to complain. No yeah, that, that's that's true. But I think it's interesting. And here's the uh, Wolfman and the Fly two pack. I just think it's interesting that they even thought to do that with a coin. Yeah. And they got a number on there, and I don't know why, because it's not a limited run, as far as I know. And um, Young Frankenstein. That was a good movie. That was <laughs> yeah, that funny. movie was good. That movie was hilarious. Yes, indeed. And then um, Dracula. And of course, that's the Christopher Lee Dracula. Mm -hmm. And that's that. But yeah, Migo managed to keep a lid on that for a while, mm -hmm. but it's already leaking out because, like I said, some Walmarts put it up early. You may find it in your Walmart. Mm -hmm. Not sure about the price points. Mezco. Had another drop, and I think this one is already sold out and on wait list. <laughs> yeah, and that is the Nosferatu 
Symphony of Horror edition. It's basically a, re a retooling mm -hmm. of their original Nosferatu figure, Count Orlock. $95. I've got the original one. Okay. Came with the casket. It was one of their better figures. <clears throat> I like this. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going after it, but you know, I do I do like the figure and I think that their Count Orloff was one of their better figures for that year. Comes with everything you see there and more. They included uh mist. I guess that's supposed that's to be mist. mist. Yeah, mist. A stand. It does say mi eerie mist. <laughs> oh, it's eerie mist. Ugh. <laughs> eerie mist. They just uh, repainted a smoke bomb from one of their other figures. And you get these bats and these two wolves. The wolves are not articulated. Neither are the bats. Mm. But all that for 95 bucks. It's not bad. Yeah. And, of course, some soft goods to uh, accessorize. You get the cap and uh, the cape and such. Coachman's coat cloak with detachable uh, collar extension. Interesting. And one more. Couldn't resist showing this. Playmobil Knight Rider set. Hmm. So kit. Talking kit with lights. It talks. I believe it does. I think it's supposed to talk. But uh, with lights. And of course Michael Knight. David Hasselhoff. With the mechanic and uh, what's his the name? The old guy I can't the remember his name. I don't remember those <laughs> two names. I just only remember uh, Michael Knight. Yeah. And I just thought that was pretty cool. It, this is like ninety dollars, but they've been doing a lot of franchise stuff yeah. the last few years. And finally, from Storm Collectibles, from Samurai Showdown, it's Helmaru. Helmaru, one twelfth scale figure, is a hundred and twenty dollars. Mm. And again, Storm is another one that I, I like the figures, but I don't have any. Mm -hmm. They look interesting. I've never handled one, so I can't say too, too much about it. And that'll do it. Anything there catch your eye? Anything no. interesting? Mm -mm, it's nothing no. that I'm interested in. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> Save my money. Yeah, indeed. Save those pennies. Yeah. I like the Mezco Count Orlock. Not going to get it. <laughs> not not going to get it. I already have issues with Mezco as it is. Mm. Uh, you already know. Everybody knows everybody your know, pain. Everybody knows that story. Yeah. But uh, I like it. But anyways, uh, it, it sold out fast. And it's on wait list. So you never know. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you ever be able to track that down or not. Yeah. I like um, what Mego did. I know a lot of people still don't like the new Mego figures. Uh, they think they're a lot more fragile. I've heard a lot of complaints about them being more fragile than the original Migos. Uh -huh. That 30-year-old Migos hold up better than these new ones. and uh, Or 40, 40 years older than that, huh? Mm -hmm. Hold up better. Like if you had a modern Spock and an original 1974 Spock and they both fell off the shelf, the 74 one will be the survivor and the other one will be shattered. I've heard a lot of complaints like that. Mm -hmm. But... What are you going to do? I, I do like what they did with the boxes, and I like the coin idea. I get it. You know, not going to get any. <laughs> but just pointing that out. Like the Four Horsemen, I like what they do. Never handled one, mm -hmm. so I can't say too much about that either. But there you go. Well, what else is there? I'll throw it out there. Guys, did you see anything you like? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Yeah. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. If you happen to be at the Middle Georgia Comic Convention, say hi. If you see us, if say you see hi. Us, say and hi. we'll get there kind of early and, um, you know, we'll stick around for a while. And then we're going to head to Duluth mm -hmm. to the train show. So, yep. We'll see if how you that see goes. us in either one of those areas, say hey. Say hi. Don't be too shy. Yeah. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.